Hello everyone, Richie Leahy here, and today we're looking at the Razer Kishi controller uh, with a Motorola Power. It's a about a 6.7 inch um, phone, which is about the maximum for this controller. Um, I'm also using the Xbox version. We're going to go ahead and, and see how this setup would compare to something like the Steam Deck, which is a dedicated handheld. Uh, this is obviously the most cheaper option as long as you have an Android phone available to you. has the Xbox Home button here. Um, on the button side, pretty much the standard Xbox controller layout with the A on the bottom, which would be opposite of the Nintendo Switch. Looking at the Steam Link app, so let's go ahead and get started. Get connected. Uh, I'm going to have to type this into my computer. And we'll see how easy it is to even set this up. It's going to go ahead and do a test for me on my network. I think it tests it up to 100 megabits per second. But let's see how, how it goes here. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than Steam Deck. I've done some other videos on it. The Steam Deck, I prefer just because um, you don't have to worry about the streaming start stuff so we are successful so let's go ahead and see if we can get it um, notice how the steam link already has identified my controller as the razor kishi everything's good good connection good computer good controller so let's go ahead and get started we'll just grab um, a random game here whatever's first looks like it's a new digimon survive game um Looks like there's a tool tip here that says to hold the back button. Let's do that. That might not go away unless I do that. Um, looks like this is going to give me some extra options while playing the game, but really just testing out the controller here to see how it holds up. Now, I mentioned that the size of this phone, it's really the maximum that you can fit in here. There's no wiggle room. And honestly, whenever I was putting it in here to uh, test this out, it has popped out quite a few times. So hopefully, we don't run into that issue here during my video, uh, but we'll go ahead and hop right in. Sound plays through the phone, so um, pretty good there, and we're into the game. In terms of lag, um, it's going to depend on your network. Again, compared to the Steam Deck, the benefit of the Steam Deck would be that the game is installed directly on the device. You don't have to worry about the internet, um, but again, there's just a pop-up. Controller, I, I already have it in here when I started the video because I didn't want it to pop out early. But overall, not too bad. Um, no lag on this game. Something like a first-person shooter I did mess around with, Gears of War. And um, there was a little bit of lag. It was a little bit tougher. A visual novel game like this Digimon Survive would almost be perfect to play on the go and even outside the house, even if your internet's not that good. Um, what will happen, there will be some artifacting where the resolution is going to go down. It's kind of hard to see the quality here on this camera setup that I have, but just wanted to give it a test out. Um, the buttons seem pretty durable. The quality you can definitely tell inside um, of the buttons and things aren't as, aren't as good as a regular Xbox controller or even the Steam Deck itself. They're a little flimsy. Uh, I would feel a little bit worried about throwing it in your bag. I'll show you how this pops out and how easy it pops out. See how easy this phone pops out of here, which is, like I said, would be the maximum size. I think it's a 6.7 inch um, phone that you can play with. If I take it off, it also it gives me the buttons I could play without the controller, but really looking at the controller here as an option. It has a USB-C that you can plug your controller into or your phone into and, and play, and it also folds up. It's a little bit tough for me to get it, especially since I'm looking through a camera here, but it'll fold up to be about the size of your phone. So that if you're traveling with it, it's not too much to carry around. But if you're looking for a cheaper option to play streaming compared to the Steam Deck, um, again, as long as you have a, a computer that's set up with some games, it's going to work out for you. I still really like the Steam Deck. So if you have that option, definitely get one of those. Um, you can also stream directly to the Steam Deck as well. You won't have to worry about having the foldable controller. But in a pinch, it definitely works, and the quality's there. No lag, I've noticed, from the from the controls itself. 
So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe and check out my other videos. I have some on the Steam Deck if you want to see how that works.